Hi, I'm Jeremy Willett with Child Fund, and I'm here to talk to you today about something that can be a bit uncomfortable for many of us, but we need to talk about it. You see, in the past few years, especially since the COVID-19 pandemic, the amount of child sexual abuse imagery circulating online has exploded last year alone. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children received a whopping 31.9 million reports of online images and videos that show children being sexually exploited or abused. Get this, that's 80,000 reports every single day. So why is this happening? Well, one major reason is that not enough is being done to keep children safe on technology platforms. You may be surprised to learn this, but right now, US tech companies are not required to proactively search for child sexual abuse materials on their platforms in order to remove it. There's also no punishment for platforms that don't remove it quickly. Because tech companies aren't legally required to do these things, they aren't investing in child protection measures the way that they need to, to really keep kids safe. And that means that too often, images and videos of children being abused, they're staying online for hours and days and weeks, even years. Every single time that image or video is downloaded or shared, that child is being re-traumatized. Trust me. I know we don't want to think that this is happening to so many kids, but it is. And behind every single image or video, there's a child who is being exploited and abused. And if we look away and don't do anything about it, well, it's going to keep happening. Protecting children starts with all of us. So what can you do to help stop these monstrous crimes? You can go to childfund.org slash take it down right now. Watch the video, uh, share it, then take action by sending a tweet through that same website. Your tweet will go to a key decision maker in Congress and help us get their attention on these specific issues. Listen, this isn't going to single-handedly solve the immense problem of online sexual exploitation and abuse. To do that, we need better education for parents. Uh, more resources for survivors, investment in criminal justice measures, and so much more. What this is, is a good place to start. By getting leaders to pay attention to what is happening and require that big tech do their part to protect children. The louder we are, the more of a difference we'll make. We're here to tell people, technology created this monster. Only technology can take it down.